Welcome back. This is the last lesson of our life game. So the last thing we're going to do is make it so our crystal can actually be a predator and go ahead and start eating up some of these dots. But really, to make that happen, the code has to go in the dot itself. And it's going to go in our rules. So we're going to just add in another conditional. And we're going to add it right at the top. We're going to go to control. We're going to put this conditional in. Remember, if you want to put a conditional at the top, you have to disconnect the code that's there, put in the new conditional, and reconnect the code. So we're going to use our sensing to see if it is touching the crystal. And if it's touching the crystal, we want to go ahead and change our population. So go to variables, change our population by minus one, and delete the clone. So now, if the crystal is touching our dots, it will look like it's kind of eating them up. Now, the other thing we want to do is deal with what happens if the crystal eats all the dots and there are no more dots, right? We don't want that to happen, that there's no more dots ever. So we want to make sure there is always at least one dot. So we want to put another conditional in here. And I think we want to actually, instead of doing a conditional, let's create some kind of event. So let's do a broadcast. We haven't done a broadcast yet. So when I receive, let's call it, population event. We just want to create 10 dots. So to create 10 dots, all we have to do is create a clone of itself 10 times. And we could do that with inside a nice for loop, a repeat loop, and go to control, and create a clone of myself. So now it's gonna create 10 of itself when it gets the population event. So when do we wanna broadcast our population event? Well, I think we want our crystal to do it. If our crystals are dying off, that probably means we don't have enough dots. So I'm gonna go back to my crystal, and if the crystals are less than one, I'm gonna create a clone of myself, but then I'm also gonna give some more food for my crystals and broadcast a population event. So let's see how that works. Oh, look at that. So we were down to one and boom, now we got lots of dots and crystals and our crystals are growing and eating our dots. And they're getting bigger. Oh, I think I did something wrong here. The, seem, the crystal seems to be creating lots and lots of clones of itself. I found my mistake. It's on my check rules for my dot. Instead of changing crystal population by one, it should have been changing population. So I want this to say population by minus one. Now it should be okay. We want to make sure this says population. Now it's not going to create a whole bunch of crystals and it should work pretty good. And we can see our crystal getting bigger. Oh, 
and then it touches the matrix and it gets smaller and it gets bigger again. And eventually it should start splitting off and creating more and more crystals. And we kind of get to what's called an equilibrium state where we get crystals and dots and that creates like a little artificial ecosystem for our life program to work. So that is the basics of our life program, but you can always go in and add more rules if you want. You can change how things behave and experiment and see what other kinds of changes you can make in your system so it works a little bit better. Oh, and you can see we got a population event that happened fast. And the crystal starts eating more and more dots. Oh, now it's split off. There we go. So have fun playing with your program. We'll see you next time.